Right. Um, question eight. I actually, I don't know why I really thought there'd be more written material in this exam. I think, I feel like there was more written in MA in Mabu. Um, this, we did a number of these in the exam kit. Um, and the videos are there. So we, you, you need to have a look at those probably before coming into this. So you're totally comfortable if this comes out. Right. So we're really just playing around with a mixture of target costing and life cycle costing and integrating those ideas. So let's do that. Um, so what do we see here? We see, let's use a different pen color to, to end this whole drama. Business planning to introduce a new product. Um, operating margin expected at 25%. They believe they want to try and sell 20,000 units and the budget is selling price 18 pounds. So anticipated revenue must be there for 20,000 units at 18 pound per unit. And that takes us to 20,000 times times 20,000 times 18, which is 360,000. Right, so we are looking for an operating margin of 25%, multiply that by 25. And I think even the exam kit, they have questions that look very much like this, 90,000, which means that your target costs must be the difference, right, of 270,000, right? Because that's just the difference, if that's going to be your profit. Now, the target cost per unit, it's just the 270,000 divided by the expected units of 20,000 is what we're expecting to sell and divide the 270,000 divided by that is 13 13 pound 50 so your target cost per unit is 13 pounds 50 okay so um let us then move on to the next the next bit so it says here complete the table below assuming the life cycles costs are the same as above and we you see elements of this and i think it's important to understand those elements because it's this thing they take the variable bit element element and leave the rest of the life cycle costs for you to work with which we do in the, in the kit okay so again you're looking at a 25 percent sorry looking at a 25 percent um a 25 percent um oh, i think i think it was 25 percent. yeah 25 percent operating profit margin so let's go back there and do that so 25 percent is still what you're looking for you're looking for 25 percent operating profit margin so 25 percent of that 17 leaves you with 0 0.25 times 17 means that you're expecting a profit of four pound 25 per unit which means your total target cost must be of course the difference which takes you to 12 pound 75 right so again this is um so your target fixed um cost per unit of course if this is your um variable cost per unit is just really the difference between the two so it really says that you have to target if you like um 12 pound 75 minus seven so to speak and which leaves you at five pounds which leaves you at five pound 75 if you like um, to to do that, and that's sort of the first thing I think we just wanted to be um, we want to make sure we're comfortable comfortable with. Oh, one second, let me just uh, pause this. Sorry, I was interrupted there. Um, so where were we? I think I was just um, finding this out. Yes, I think I just found the targeted the target fixed cost. So we know what our target fixed cost is per unit. So I think the the question we need to be asking ourselves is, well, what is the total fixed cost? Well, remember, like I said, we have eliminated the variable manufacturing because they tell us that, that that's seven pound a unit. So the remaining fixed costs are sixty five thousand plus forty five thousand here plus the thirty five thousand and that takes us to five five zero ten fifteen 7 plus 4 is 11, 11 plus 3, 11 plus 3 is 14. Yes. So you have these fixed costs here. Um, and because these are your fixed costs and you're trying to, you need to, you're making, the whole idea is 145, let's just go back here. Um, 145, I'll just write that here, 145,000. And the fixed cost that you need to achieve per unit, the £5.75, think of it almost like a break-even in effect. And the question is, how many units are you going to need to sell if you like to kind of, if you like, cover this, cover this, um, this fixed cost? So that's really 145, oops, sorry, that's 100 and, 
and that's 145,000 divided by five pounds 75, right? 145,000, and you will get 25218. I'm going to round it up one, 25218, because you, you're trying to cover that, aren't you? So that's what you're going to need to kind of maintain this 25%. I talk a lot about this 25% almost being a type of kind of fixed cost. So, well, you could, you, I suppose you could, well, it's a, it's a necessary cost if you like, um, if you if you were thinking about it that way in a break even an analysis kind of way. And there are a few questions in the kit that look at this kind of approach to dealing with this. But um, but yes, that's the that's the first point, and that's how you you deal you deal with this one. Um, the very last question. Um, I won't pause. I'll just go straight to it. I'll just go and find it was asking what was it asking it was asking discuss um how the concept of life cycle would have been implemented um in yes implemented in this case including the elements that in arriving at this at this decision um in order to support your support your answer i think i think the, the the important thing with this with this answer here is to remember to um is to highlight what life cycle costing is if you like and so with with life cycle costing what we're doing is we're taking oops sorry we're taking into consideration um all the costs i think that's the first thing to highlight to the exam that you oops sorry wrong color what we are is to highlight that we're taking into consideration taking into consideration all the costs over the life if you like of the of of the project i think is the is is the first point um when coming to making um this this decision this decision um yes and that, i think that's the first thing that's the first thing now the, the the thing the real argument here is this that look um we know right at the start of the process that we have total target costs of 270 so in order to achieve this operational profit of 90000 this is the real argument here in order to achieve this um operating profit of 90000 our costs have to be 270000 so when you look at this initially your total costs if you like when you add all this together and let's add all this together if we add all this together you have um if you add the 65 and the if you like you add everything together 65 and the 140 and the 45 and the 35 i believe you get 285000 because i knew this was that was 145 wasn't it these three were 145 before we add the 140 so just looking at things this way the way they are um, with our current structure, current selling price and cost structure, um, and number of units we intend to sell, um, we 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 would not accept this project because this is the cost. This is the cost you have to cover, but this is your target cost. So the whole point, the whole argument with life cycle, well, with life cycle costing, I think are two things. Um, first of all, you want to highlight the fact that well, target costs. Uh, over the, the life of the project, um, that about 90% of these costs happen very early on in the project. Um, that's sort of the, the, the key point here. Uh, I think I'm trying to remember the other things we talked about with um, life cycle costing that are important. Um, the reason why we're, well, life cycles are shorter nowadays, life cycles are short. So um, by spreading it over the, the shorter life, um, it, well, by knowing this, if you like, it, it helps us with our pricing. That's important because you can get a slightly different question, a slightly different tweaked question. It helps us with our pricing. So we're likely, depending on the, the the nature of the product, we understand that our pricing will move with our we can we can price quite we can we can do a pre premium especially during growth and once we get to maturity we know that other people are coming to the market so we're going to have to bring down our prices so we're quite aware that profitability will fall compared to growth so there's introduction of course development introduction growth we mature and when we mature we know we have to bring down our prices and then we're going to go to a period of decline where we have to phase the product out of the market out of the market but again how do we link this to target costing this is what i was saying earlier on with target costing you are given a kind of you know what your target costs are based on you having your profits 
And in this case, we see that the, the fundamental question is, is the total life cycle cost, because we know what the full cost is over the project, greater or less than the target? And then in that regard, you will then act to 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 do to minimize some of these costs and bring it down to target and see where can I reduce these costs so that we can accept the accept the project. So um, just kind of cleaning this up, if you like, just tidying this up. Decision making initially would be based on listen, we cannot accept this project because um, the the life cycle costs are greater the current costs are greater than our target costs if you like um those are some of the things we need to, to do and think of maybe we can think of ways to reduce some of those elements there to meet the target costs and also accept that most of those costs are generated at the, at the early bit of the early life of the of the business and we've taken those core into account core into account yeah, again, I think, yeah, I mean, review the mark scheme um, as well, because there'll be some nuggets there. But for me, those were the ones that, that stood out. Cool. Good luck.